Garuba Shew, our targets are top Yoruba and Igbo leaders sponsoring Igboho and Onande Kano. But your target is not after those who are sponsoring bandits because they are yours. You and Buhari are the ones sponsoring bandits with Nigerian money, borrowing to sponsor them, yeah, to buy the best of ammunitions to destroy lives and property, take children out of school and commit all forms of atrocities. Do you know how many Nigerians are living in this country? Those who can anyway. Do you know how many are living in this country? Do you know how many are going to Canada looking for every way possible? Sadly, some are still going through Libya. Not because, I mean, I mean, please don't go through it because the, the, the trauma you will go through, only God can heal you from it, please. It's a death trap. Please don't do it. But if you can, go legitimately. Ask for the proper way. Go online. Fill the form. Look for an, a genuine agent. Not just anybody who tells you they are going to give you a job. Do they have a job there? That's what you must ask first of all. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. He's saying that uh, they are ready for they are ready for, uh, uh, for those who are sponsoring them. What about those who are sponsoring the bandits and others in the country? What about those people? But they're not going after those people, right? They are not going after them. Those ones don't need to be go go gone after, right? Garuba Shewo, our targets are the top Yoruba and Igbo leaders sponsoring Igboho and Onandi Kanon. The presidential spokesman Garuba Shewo has revealed the plan of President Muhammadu Buhari's administration on sectionists, saying that the government is committed to official sponsors of Igboho and Onandi Kanu, the people Glizia has reported. But the government is not committed to fishing out those who are after the peace of the North. They, they are happy. When, when they kidnap people in the North, we don't hear from Garuba Shewo. We don't hear a pain. In fact, when, when they beheaded uh, how many farmers the other time, he said it was the farmer's fault. They did not take permission. They did not ask if they could go to their farm. So you, when you look at the country, you begin to wonder what exactly is happening. So the, the, the bandits or the Boko Haram are part of those who are, who, they are, who are leadership now. And nothing is being done to them. Mr. Shewu made this known during an interview section on VOA Hausa. Mr. Garuba alleged that this sectionist group have top Igbos and Yoruba leaders sponsoring the agitation, in his words. But you should know that there are people that are backing them up and even sponsoring them. They are funding them. The future reveals the security details to hunt down these sponsors, adding that they are working on the ground to un uncover the and um, persecute the sponsors, the alleged sponsors of these people. He further justified the invasion of Sunday Igboho's resident by DSS, acknowledging Igboho's freedom of expression and also accusing him of piling illegal arms. If they go check your own house, Nagaruba Shewu, mm -hmm. is there no illegal arms? You, Garuba Shewu, speaking you. Is there no illegal arms in your own house? Just asking. If you go and investigate Garuba Shewu's house, is there no illegal arms? I'm just asking you. Is there no illegal house arms in Garuba Shewu's house? He further justified the invasion of Igboho's house by DSS, acknowledging Igboho's freedom of expression, and he also accused him of possessing illegal arms. Recall that Igboho's residence was invaded by unknown gunmen that was later discovered to be men of the Department of State Security Service later. So these are known gunmen are the ones that have been working in the, the, on the East and the rest, causing trouble, and they will say it's ESN, right? Uh-huh. He also later, he also last week said the leader of the IPOB and the Kano was arrested by the federal government to face charges labored against him. So this is what is happening. So this is what is going on, my people. Uh, we will continue to look at, you know, uh, uh, this matter as it's, as it's unfold. Nigerian government are majoring on the minor. Yeah, that's what they are doing. Things that have no business being their business is where they exactly they are majoring on. And that's why the country is the way it is today. That's why there is no true, there is no true justice in our land. These are people who are going after the innocents because they feel they have no one. 
But when God is to arise for his people, anyone who, who trusts God and God arises for him, you will pity these people that are calling, you know, and making and flaunting as if they, you will see their end. Though. We will see their end because, you know, everyone who is making life unbearable for another person will have to dance to the tune of the music he has set on. Because oppression is not a good thing. But in Nigeria, Nigerian government go ahead and oppresses her very own people which ought not to be. Nigerian government oppresses our own very citizens. They allow them to go through unsold suffering. They allow them to suffer, you know, uh, I mean, and it's not, it's not right in any way, form or kind. It's not right. He's talking about Sunday Boho, their sponsors. They are leaving the main issue. As we are speaking now, there are children in captivity in the north. Children were in boarding house in the north, Bethel Secondary School, and they were adopted. I've not heard Garuba Shewu said a single word about those children. Not a single word has been said about those children. Are they not Nigerians? Children. Is it not the government's uh, responsibility to look after them? Or oh, APC, they are having meetings. They are not talking about their failures. They are not talking about all the things they have done that is wrong. They are busy, you know, promoting one another, cheering one another, as if they've done something worthwhile. And everybody's just looking at them. You know, looking at their failure. But the sad part of it is that if there is election 2023, you'll be surprised that Nigerians are the ones that will still go and stand behind them. But when you look at it again, these people have so strategically positioned themselves. They've allowed poverty in the land so much so that if they tell somebody, uh, take one thousand, we'll give you one thousand naira. The one thousand naira that makes no sense. So at the end of the day, stand up and say Buhari is the true leader. You will see people stand up and be saying Buhari is the true leader. So who exactly is to be blamed? There is no job. Even graduates are doing, uh, what's it called? D d just doing any kind of job because they don't want to steal just to get by. Graduates are doing anything, you know, just to get by. I saw a lady, a graduate, first class graduate. What's she doing? Food vendor. Food vendor. First class graduate. She's a food vendor. F first class graduate from Ileife, a food vendor. So when you look at the whole situation, who exactly is to be blamed? Who exactly is to be blamed? That's, where, that's, that's the country called Nigeria for you. These are some of the things happening. You know, these are some of the things going on. I would like you to leave, a, leave us a comment. Uh, let's hear your thoughts with regards to all these things that are going on that are happening today. You know, we would like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Don't forget that you have a voice. Do let it count. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.